Hello viewers, this is Ashkar Rafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to create and set up a complete seller account or a freelancer account on Fiverr step by step from the beginning. To get started, first of all, you'll be needed of an email account and I'm going to use my Gmail address here. And after that, you have to visit Fiverr.com. I'm going to attach the sign up link into the video description for your easy access. And after visiting the website, you have to click on become a seller button from here. Then you will be redirected to this page where you'll find this option or button become a seller. Just click on it. And then you'll find few options to join in Fiverr, which is completely free. You can go with your Facebook account. You can assign your Google account or Apple account as well. I would suggest you to go with either Google or Apple, but I don't recommend to use Facebook account because for some reason you could lose access to your Facebook account very easily. You could lose or let's say you could be banned from Facebook for some reasons. And in this case, you will get lots of trouble to sign in with your uh, Fiverr account. So that's not a good option for uh, at least in my view. So I'd suggest you to go either with Google account or with Apple account or we could simply go with our email account directly from here. So let me go with email, email account directly. So I'm going to copy the email account which I'd love to use for this tutorial purpose. I'm going to paste it here. So this is the email. Let's click on continue. And after that you have to choose a username and a password. For a username you could use your own name or any niche targeted or niche specific name here. For example, my name is Achal Rafi. I could write out here as a username Achal Rafi or if I'm going to provide website design services as an example, I could uh, put a relevant name here. For example, I have chosen a name. Let me show you Websites D Pro. So this is the name or username which I'd love to use. So I'm going to copy and let's paste, let's paste it here and let's see if it is available. Yes, it is available. And after that, we have to enter a password here, which should be at least eight characters longer and it will combine with uppercase and lowercase characters or letters. Okay, so I'm going to type out a password here. All right, so I have used numbers, uppercase and lowercase. Okay, and now let's click on join. I'd love to save the password. Okay. And here we go, have created our account on Fiverr. Just take a look, we need to activate our account now. So let's go back to our email inbox and you are going to find this email, Fiverr activate your account. Let's open it up. And then you have to click on activate your account button from here. All right, so here we go, account successfully activated. So it's, this is the great time to edit your profile and we are going to go for this. So first of all, let me just omit this one from here and let's click on edit your profile button to get started. And here we can provide our full name, email address and some other information, okay? So let me type out here Ajharul Rafi and email address is already been selected and my online status is green, so it's all fine. It's time to click on save change. And then we are going to see some options, security option. You can change your password if you want, but we don't need this as of now, but we have got few other options as you can see, phone verification. You will have to click on verify now button and then you have to select your country and provide your phone number. And after that, if you want to verify or get the code into your SMS, then you have to click on verify by SMS. If you want to get the code by call, you have to call. Uh, you have to click on this verify by call, and you will get the code. And you have to enter it after the after the screen. Okay. So as it is a tutorial purpose, so I'm going to skip this verification as of now. But for security question, I'd love to suggest to you that please create a security qu a question for your uh, account security. So let me click on set. So whenever someone, if, if Fiber realize that someone is trying to steal your account access, then they will ask the question to the person. So if they provide or actually answer the correct, uh, give the correct answer to Fiber, then they will give access to your account. So this is really important. So I'm going to select a question from here. So what was the first name of your first pet? I'm going to give a demo name here. For example, let's put Viluri. Okay, let's click on submit. 
and then you have got another option as you can see two-factor authentication so I'd love to keep it on okay and then we are done with this page and it's time to go for notifications so here we will be able to select what are the types of emails that will we want to receive for example if someone sends us a message on our fiber account we would love to get an email into our gmail inbox as well so it will help us get the notification easily okay so it's been selected after that if someone places an order to our fiber gigs then we'll receive an email so that's selected already and then order updates if someone makes any changes if someone sends an a message after placing an order we are going to receive that email into this order updates option so it's been selected so let's keep them all selected click on save change and then we have got billing information you can provide information on this page or you can keep it blank it doesn't matter and then balance option you will be able to see what are the current balance status of yours but as of now we are creating this account so everything is zero here so now it's really important to move back to setting up our complete profile and now it's time to click on this icon and then we have to click on profile and after coming here you have to select as you can see which option best describe you and here we have got some other options which are really important and we have to enter relevant information very uh, professionally so let me put out here I'm a freelancer I want work so I'd love to select this one after that select industry which industry we are going to work on IT and network service and support and let's click on save change and we have got this option which is our title it is really important to have because whenever someone is going to visit your profile they are going to see the first sentence here okay after the name they are going to see this part so it's really important to give a proper uh, title here so I have already written a short title as you can see professional website building service provider so I'm going to type it out here paste well reputed professional website building service provider update okay so we are done with this part and now we have to go a little bit down and then you are going to find this description field where you have to enter some information regarding your services like what are the skills what are the services you are going to provide to your client so i have written a short description here for this tutorial purpose i'm to copy to save the time and going to paste it here you have to write according to your use so as you can see whether it is a business blog or personal portfolio website i'm here to help you by creating a professional responsive fully functional website for your use and i have to use or actually add some other details here like uh, like my experience starts etc etc but as of now i'm going to uh, keep it as it is okay you have to provide information based on your skills your experience etc so let's click on update and then we have got language field it's already been selected to english but the status is given to basic so i'd love to change it to fluent because i am a fluent guy with english language and then we have to click on update and then i have to click on add new and then select all of the language that you know so i'd love to give the mother language here bangla which is mine and then native and bilingual add and you can also add few more languages if you know okay so i'm going to keep them as they are now and then if you want to take test as of uh, right away then you can simply click on take a test and you will have to perform the test to get a good ranking or good position to your fiber profile okay and after that we are going to skip this as of now we are going to go for linked accounts you can link your facebook google Revo, and other other accounts which are really helpful for a good uh, giving a good standing with fiber account okay so as i am already signed in with my gmail account so i'd love to add the google account here and i'd love to select the account which i'd love to associate with this account then click on this button okay it's been associated now and after that really important part skills so as i have mentioned here i'm going to provide website design blog creation etc services then i'm going to type out few skills that i know well so i'd love to type out here wordpress okay and experience level expert and then i have learned shopify let me see if i can find 
Shopify, Shopify, this is wrong. Into okay, Shopify, intermediate, add. And then I also know HTML5 very well. So I'm an expert in this field. CSS3 expert, I could say. And I know Bootstrap, intermediate. And I know a little bit of JavaScript. And then web development intermediate okay let's click on add so these are the skills and i'll be able to add few more skill sets when i learn more okay so as of now these are fine and now it's time to provide your educational information so let's click on add new and then choose the country i'm going to select bangladesh as i am from bangladesh and after that we have got the college or university name so i'm going to type out my college name select mc college and then I'd love to select other and then social science okay and then year of graduation let's say 2017 let's click on add and after that you have to provide your certification information if you have any so as of now I don't have any special certificate so we can simply skip any information that we doesn't have or don't have okay so let me go back here again and let's click on save change and our fiber profile is done <laughs> okay so most important thing i have missed to add the logo here so let's click on this image icon or the camera icon and then i'd love to upload this as as my image let's say this one is my image uh, profile picture so let's click on it and let's see how it is going to look like okay it's not looking that good but I have another image we can try out this one okay so it looks better and finally we are done with setting up with our fiber profile completely and it's time to start creating our gig to start getting clients from fiber okay and the full details of how to create a fiber gig image how to create a fiber gig step by step how to send buyer request how to find buyer request and then few other options as you can see how to deliver a completed work how fiber review works etc etc you'll find many more tutorials on this playlist from my youtube channel so if you're a complete beginner if you don't know me then i'm going to attach this link into the video description for you so that you'll be able to watch every single videos from this playlist so that you'll be able to learn more about fiber things all right so i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and let me know your opinion by commenting below and if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in future i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching